Season 2 of Hasman Hotel has been confirmed to focus mostly on the V's, and there is the rumors that the V's will get their own spin-off show at some point in the near future. Which is why I want to talk a little bit about Vox. Vox is probably my favorite character out of all the three V's, and he's probably the only V that I would consider sympathetic. Velvet doesn't really count in this case because she's not really evil. This video is focusing mostly on what makes Vox great as a villain and why I think he's probably one of the few villains in Hasbin Hotel that I think is actually sympathetic. Vox isn't a powerful person wanting more power, instead he's a subversion of that trope. He's a powerful person who wants to keep his power. This is realistic. Throughout history and even today, there are leaders trying to keep their power rather than expand it. It also makes him far more interesting as a villain. Instead of trying to expand his influence, he's trying to stop that influence from falling apart, either by Alistair or the Exorcist. One small critique is how I don't understand why Vox acts like a model CEO, which is probably how a lot of Desidents of Hell see him. And I don't understand why he pretends to care about his patrons. Like, he decides to capitalize on the upcoming extermination by making anti-angel defenses, saying, we care about your safety. I don't see why he doesn't just say, we'll be capitalizing off this, or we're going to use the extermination to our advantage. Like, there's nothing inherently wrong with wanting more money, especially if you're in hell. Plus, the stuff you're working on is meant to protect people. No one's going to be mad at you for wanting money from this. Honestly, I expected him to be a cyborg-like monster when his design was first revealed, but I like this even more. I feel like fanfic dubs ruined my perspective of Vox, because I kept imagining him having this static-like voice similar to Alistair whenever he got mad. But that doesn't make sense. One of Vox's defining traits is that he's the opposite of Alistair. He's evolving constantly. So he's not going to have a static-like voice. Most likely, when he first came down to hell, sometime in the Cold War I assume, he probably did have a static-like voice. But, not today. I do still love Vox's personality. He's such a fun character. He's hilarious. He's iconic. It's amazing. I am so hard right now! <laughs> this is better than- It's almost like he's lying! Every scene with Vox is such a joy, especially in the final episode where he's just watching the entire battle alongside the audience. I know that they're going to be the main antagonists of the show as time goes on, but it still would be funny to just have episodes where the V's are sitting around watching the main cast do their thing and reacting to it, kind of like streamers or something. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wanted to go a little detour and talk about how amazing the V's are as characters and how they really subverted what we thought they would look like. When I first saw Valentino's design, I always assumed he had a grizzly-like voice similar to the dub of Angel's prequel comic, or like how Velvet would sound a little bit like Pokimane, but they sound amazing. Like, Valentino's voice actually makes sense when you think about it, since he is meant to be a seducing pervert, and you can't really be seductive if your voice sounds like Sauron. Part of me also wants to talk about Vox's backstory. I think my personal idea is Vox was around during the Red Scare, the second Red Scare to be clear. If you guys don't know, the second Red Scare was prominent during the Cold War in which America feared the expansion of communism from the East, which led to a rampant rise of xenophobia and white supremacy. My personal theory is that Vox probably was a TV show host trying to rise up fear and anger among the American citizens, which would have led to the rise of the KKK as well as many hate crimes. That would definitely get him a seat in hell. Look, I know I just gave Vox the most evil backstory possible, but I still feel like he's the only V that you can actually sympathize with. Mainly because he has to deal with people like Valentino, who see him as nothing more than property. Before the show's release, it was shown that Vox and Valentino have a on and off again relationship, with Valentino beating Vox whenever he wants. I do have to say one thing, I definitely agree with VG Marcus's take on Vox, how Vox is much worse than most people think, and he's definitely a very evil person. However, I still sympathize with him, and I still find him more likable than the other Vs. This is ignoring Velvet, since she's not a villain, and henceforth I'm not taking her into accountability. But that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. As you guys know, I'm working on a massive movie that's coming out at the end of May. So be sure to check it out. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.